First at six, new perspective, including these pictures of the crash involving Britt Reed that put a young girl in the hospital. She was just like any other girl, and, and that life has been affected, and that life right now and presumably in the future has been taken away from her. Thanks for joining us. I'm Kevin Holmes. And I'm Caitlin Canute. We appreciate having you along here on 41 Action News on air as well as on your favorite streaming device. You'll remember the crash nearly a month ago badly injured five-year-old Ariel Young. According to court documents, former Chiefs assistant coach Britt Reed was driving a pickup truck that hit two parked vehicles on an entrance ramp to I-435. The lawyer for Ariel Young's family today released those pictures. 41 Action News anchor Cynthia Newsom following this story. Cynthia, the attorney explained why he did so. Yeah, he did. Attorney Tom Porto said that he released the pictures because, in his words, the public needs to know what happened. Porto claims it was not a fender bender, it was not an accident, and it has devastated five-year-old Ariel Young and her family forever. He said Ariel could have permanent brain damage, and a family spokesperson said she's awake but not talking and could be in a wheelchair for the foreseeable future. But the family is not giving up hope. Now, here's what police investigators have revealed so far about the crash. According to the heavily redacted crash report, Britt Reed hit two parked vehicles along the 435 entrance ramp from the stadium drive. Britt is the son of Chiefs head coach Andy Reed. Now, two children were taken to the hospital, including Ariel. According to a Kansas City police search warrant application for Reed's blood and cell phone, Reed admitted to having two or three drinks before the crash. The official crash report lists Reed's alcohol use as unknown. Now, attorney Porter said that he wants to know where Reed had those drinks that night and what Reed was doing just seconds before the crash. Porto also talked about the family's thoughts about how the Chiefs organization has responded. There's no feeling on behalf of the family that this is being swept under the rug. I mean, you've got uh, Clark Hunt reaching out uh, to the mother of Ariel uh, within days of this happening. You've got the Super Bowl happening within days of this crash. You've got Coach Reed mentioning this uh, just right in the beginning of his post-game interview. You definitely feel like members of the franchise are recognizing uh, what happened here. And, you know, that in and of itself, it, it, it's good. The family, you know, they, they appreciate that. But the question is, you know, what is the organization and the franchise going to be saying years from now as Ariel continues uh, to progress from this injury. Now, Porto also said that he is anxious to get the toxicology report on Britt Reed. 41 Action News checked with police and they told us that they are still investigating. Britt Reed currently does not face any charges. I'm Cynthia Newsom. We'll keep following it for you. Back to you.